Hello friends, this is Ganesh. Hope you are doing great. This is the quick video about uh, unit and currency conversion in CDS view. So how we can achieve this in a CDS view and with the help of a default function for unit conversion and currency conversion. So I will explain uh, what are the parameters need to be passed and show you how the result would be. Okay, let's get into the slide. For unit conversion, these are the parameters. This is the function. It's like unit underscore conversion, and this is the parameters you have to pass. Quantity, what is the quantity, and what is the source unit and target unit. It's pretty simple. And the converted value is going to be is going to be the output of this function. So you you, you won't get any parameter to receive the value because this is a CDS view kind of SQL. So you have to the output value you're going to carry in a um, kind of a field. So how you do in the case statement, right? So as there is a field in the same way here you have to say as converted UIM or converted currency. So that way the, the value, the return parameter or the, the return value to be captured in that particular field. So same thing for the currency conversion also. Uh, you have a amount field and you have a source currency, target cur currency and one more parameter, mandatory parameter is exchange rate date. So you have to give that date also. A tricky part in currency conversion is if you are in a test environment or a rental system. So make sure you have the uh, exchange rate is maintained in that exchange rate date information. If not, you will get an error. Probably I will get an error only. I will show you that error also in my uh, rental system. Okay, let's get into the system now. This is my system and this is HANA Studio. It works in Studio and Eclipse as well. So I'm going to create a new data definition. So CGI conversion. So this works in view as well. It, this is not part of only for uh, CDS view entity. This is that this will work in CDS view also and CDS view entity also. Um, conversion. So I need a template. Uh, this is a higher version, so I ha it shows like define view is absolute. It's fine. Okay, but define view for this option and here CG view. Maybe I can say CM. And I'm going to use Mara, and um, I'll show you the unit unit of conversion first. UAM conversion first. So I need few fields to be displayed. So key M A T N R and N T A R T, then net white, and there is a parameter for net white. One second, yeah, which holds the unit, which which holds the unit of measure. So I need that is G. And now I'm going to use the unit conversion option or method or function. And it has uh, parameters saying that uh, quantity, source unit, and target unit. Okay, these are function parameter. So quantity as uh, NTGW. Okay, this is not equal. It's going to be equal and an error mark. This is to be separated by comma. Each parameter separated by comma. You can be in the same line, not a problem. So quantity and the next one is control space bar source unit. So source unit is coming from G E W E I and target units. Suppose if you want to give a hard coded value, so just try with this because we have to know which skews error or not. Uh, target unit I can say M3 and make sure the conversion to be the basic uh, configuration between these two conversion also to be maintained in the system otherwise you will get an error. Okay and I'm saying as converter UOM. Okay I'm getting an error here it shows target unit has incorrect data type so it's, it's not a character it's a unit right. So what you can do is, if you want to hard-coded value, do the casting. 
So I'm considering, I'm asking to consider this as wrap unit. That's it. Okay, and one more. And this is missing. Okay, as converted URL. So this is the field which carries the converted value. And there is a warning because the reference is not, I have not given any reference. So just add the reference information for this conversion one. Okay, so converted. Yes, done. And exit. Have application. Okay. Yes, this is what you will. Okay, M3 is no, it's not available. So if if any the configuration missing in the conversion level, you will get this information. Could not determine valid conversion rate for the unit. I think the unit is missing. Two unit M3. Okay, I'll do one thing. Um, go here because we may have some generator. So I need zero. And I feel I don't have M3 here. Let me check. Word LB. So mostly this KG is the base unit of measure. I'm going to convert it into LB. Let's check. Back to it. And execute. So now you can see the conversion value. So this is in kg and I requested to convert it as LB. So these are the converted value over here as a new field. So this is for unit of measure conversion. And currency conversion, I normally we, we don't have anything with Mara with currency value. So I go with MBEW and I join Mara.MATNR equal mbw dot mbtnr that's it okay on is missing on okay from our inner join oh, sorry two inner joints inner join mbw on mara okay and this is ambiguous so i have to mention belongs to which table okay, so it belongs to mara okay then separated by comma because i'm going to add one more here and that is maybe i can add the fields first it's like stprs it has a value and the um, standard price standard value of the material then i'm going to work currency conversion same like the previous one nothing much currency conversion this function has four fields amount, process amount, so amount is nothing but STRS, then okay, comma, let it go, let it go down, comma, the next field is exchange rate, okay, I'll go with source currency first. Uh, a, any order you can go ahead no issues the source currency suppose if you want to add a um, hard coded one so you have to use the casting here so add, i'm going to usd as above c currency key right okay and then and is target currency casting a d s c q i so if you have a value just pass it from the field otherwise go with the hard coded one and then exchange rate date as it's going to be one let's try let's take a try so i'm going to give 20240101 okay let's see this is done so 
has Okay, so what is the error? Numeric. Oh, okay. It's considered as numeric, so we'll do one. Cast as a web dot as. Okay, so convert as a date. Let's act the word at. Okay, I got the uh, change here. This is the actual one and this is the converter value. So if you don't have the converter rate maintained, I can say, I don't know, let's not try. If it is not, maybe you get the same pop-up uh, which, which we got on M3 unit of conversion, UOM conversion. Same thing you might get for the currency conversion also. It's very clearly they mentioned it, okay. Unfortunately not, okay, that's fine. So this is a way you have to just use this UIM and the currency conversions in your CDS if it is required or based on your business need. Hope this might be uh, useful. Just go through what if you have any doubt, please let me know. And thank you so much for your time. See you in the next video. Bye.